Madam Barrow, GMRG, Honorable Ministers, Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, Chief of Staff, Chief of Staff, Permanent Secretaries, Deputy Secretary of Cabinet, Members of the Press, good morning, or oh, I can say good afternoon now. <laughs> good morning still now, thank you very much. In exercise of the powers conferred on His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, by Section 200 of the 1997 Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, appointed Geneva Ba as chairperson, Mr. Oremi Joyner as member, Mr. Sambafal as member, Sukai Seka Sanya as member, Alaji Silla as member. As required by law, Geneva Ba, Sambu chairperson, Mr. Orim Joyner, member, Mr. Sambafal, member, Sukai Sekasanya, member, and Alaji Silla, member, are to take the prescribed order, that is the order of office and order of secrecy. I, Ali Unjai, Secretary of Cabinet, have the honor to invite Geneva, Sam, Geneva Ba Sambu, chairperson, Mr. Oremi E. Joyner, member, Mr. Sambafal, members, Sukai Seka Sanya, member, and Alaji Silla, member, to come forward and take the prescribed oath and to thereafter sign the oath book. Secretaries, Secretary to Cabinet, Deputy uh, Secretary to Cabinet, invitees, and my colleague, Commissioners, good morning. Can I proceed? Out of office. I, Jenaba Ba Sambu, having been appointed as chairperson of the Commission of Inquiry into the local government councils, do swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, fully discharge the trust and confidence to perform the duties of a chairperson according to law. So help me God. Oath of Secrecy. I, Jenaba Ba Sambo, having been appointed as chairperson of the Commission of Inquiry into the local government councils, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. As a member, thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the President, Honorable Ministers, Commissioners, Secretary General, Secretaries, uh, Order of Office. I, Samuel having been appointed as member of the Commission of Inquiry, I, Samuel having been appointed as member of the Commission of Inquiry into the local government councils, do swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, fully discharge the trust and confidence to perform the duties of a member according to law. So help me God. I, Samba Fall, having been appointed as member of the Commission of Inquiry into the local government councils, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. Thank you very much. May I now invite Mr. Oremi E. Joyner, member, to swear in. Thank you. Honorable Ministers, Secretary General, Chief of Staff, my colleagues in the Commission, and permanent secretaries, and Secretary to Cabinet and his deputy. Good morning to you all. 
oath of office. I, Oremi E. Joyner, having been appointed as member of the Commission of Inquiry into the Local Government Councils, do swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, fully discharge the trust and confidence to perform the duties of a member according to law. So help me God. Oath of Secrecy. I, Oremi E. Joyner, having been appointed as member of the Commission of Inquiry into the Local Government Councils, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. I'm here, Mr. Adam Obaro, <clears throat> Honorable Ministers, Section General, um, members of the press, my colleagues, commissioners, good morning once again. Out of office, I, Sukai Sekasanya, Having been appointed as member of the Commission of Inquiry into the Local Government Councils, do swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, fully discharge the trust and confidence to perform the duties of a member according to law. So help me God. Oath of Secrecy. I, Sukai Sekasanya, Having been appointed as member of the Commission of Inquiry into the local government councils, do swear that I will directly or indirectly, I will not, sorry, directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. as member to swear in. Committee Ministers, Chief of Staff, Secretary General and Head of Civil Service, my fellow commissioners, the press, I, al Sila, having been appointed as member of the Commission of Inquiry into local government councils, do swear that I will faithfully impartially and to the best of my ability fully discharge the trust and confidence to perform the duties of a member in accord, according to law. So help me God. Oath of secrecy. I, Alayi Sila, having been appointment, appointed as member of the Commission of Inquiry into local government councils, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. It's done now. Congratulations goes to the newly sworn in passing, chairperson and members of the Commission of Inquiry into the local government councils. I now invite the newly sworn in chairperson to make a st short statement. Um, let me once again say Assalamu Alaikum and Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, um, Adam Abaro, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice and Cabinet members. Uh, Cabinet Ministers here present, the Chief of Staff, the Secretary General, 
the perm both permanent sectors at the Ministry of Local Government, Lands and Religious Affairs, my colleagues, commissioners, the sector to the commission, the invitees, and the press. Your Excellency, I wish to sincerely convey my gratitude and that of the entire commission for the trust and confidence accorded to us. We believe this is a great responsibility and we humbly accept with full understanding of the task bestowed upon us. Your Excellency, we pledge to do our utmost during the period that we serve to warrant your trust, confidence, support in the execution of our duty. Your Excellency, allow me at this point to refer to the greatest Greek philosopher, Plato, who said, and I quote, he who walks to serve his country must have not only the power to think, but the will to act. Your Excellency, it is my considered opinion that the above quote from Plato aptly described not only your desire to serve this country, but your will, courage, and determination to act is evident in the setting up of this commission. And this we must commend you. It has been said, Your Excellency, that human progress is neither automatic nor inevitable. Every step in our endeavors towards the goal, goal of justice requires sacrifice, suffering, and struggle. The probability that we may fail in the struggle ought not to deter us from the support of the cause we believe to be just. Your Excellency, given our context, our current context into consideration, law and order exist for the purpose of establishing justice. And when they fail in this purpose, they become the dangerously structured dams that block the flow of social progress. And finally, uh, Your Excellency, we are humbled by the selection and grateful for the opportunity to serve our country. I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you much, uh, Madam Chair, for sharing with us those Plato's views on nationalism and patriotism. Um, I now or finally have the singular honor and privilege to invite His Excellency, Mr. Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia, to make some remarks. Thank you. Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, Senior Government Officials present, Commissioners, Distinguished Guests, Members of the Media. As explained by the Secretary to Cabinet, we are here today to share in members of the Commission of Inquiry into the conduct of local councils. This decision in line with my government's determination to strengthen our institutions through good governance, to serve the nation better. It is an exercise that must extend beyond central government to include public institutions at the decentralized level. Ladies and gentlemen, government bears a statutory oversight obligation over councils. The setting of this Commission of Inquiry is the result of complaints sent from four councils about alleged financial and administrative irregularities. Guided by Section 200 of the 1997 Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, I deem it necessary to establish a Commission of Inquiry to investigate the alleged irregularities. In discharging our responsibilities as a government, we are committed to the principles of accountability and transparency. Thus, we have to take proper steps to strengthen professionalism in all public institutions, including local councils. As a commission of inquiry, your tasks include conducting a holistic and fair review of the financial and administrative operations of councils with the objective of improving their governance and service delivery components based on standard 
procedures. Ladies and gentlemen, establishing this commission of inquiry is apt, considering the nature of the irregularities brought to the government's attention. To provide evidence in support of this line of action, the Ministry of Lands, Regional Government and Religious Affairs received complaints from four local councils about alleged financial and administrative irregularities. Almost two months into the 2023 fiscal year, for example, the Banyun City Council is yet to submit its annual budget for scrutiny by the Ministry, as provided for by the Local Government Finance and Audit Act 2004. Also at the Kanifi Municipal Council, there have not been a Chief Executive Officer and Director of Finance for nearly two years. Furthermore, oversight measures, including a court ruling and directives from the Local Government Service Commission to institute suitable redress procedures are still being hindered. These circumstances, among other factors, have seriously undermined the administration and social service delivery obligations of the said councils. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gambia government has a huge responsibility to restore and maintain normality at all levels of the establishment. It bears a statutory oversight obligation over council and has been duly advised to adopt appropriate measures to address the irregularities complained against them. In terms of reference of the Commission of Inquiry into the conduct of local councils aim at providing government with informed policy choices for effective local government reform and a functional decentralization workshop. The tax of commission, the tax of the commission is to investigate and present its report within three months to guide government on the adoption of relevant policy and administrative options. Ultimately, the outcome of the investigation will further guide the administration, policies and procedures of councils and clearly spell out the relationship between elected and appointed council officials. There is no doubt, distinguished commissioners, that you are people of integrity and high standing in society. We are convinced, therefore, that we will work diligently to deliver a decent report within the set timeline. I uh, saw so the Commission of Government support and I urge the general public to remain law abiding at all times. To conclude, I congratulate you on your appointments as Commissioner and you to be impartial and sincere as you undertake this assignment. I wish you good luck. I thank you all for your attention.